Mornings with Zwelly on 947. So every single year when it's time to switch on the telly, there's one particular show that Joe Burgess, South Africans in general, have been waiting for whenever it comes to this time of the year. A couple of years ago, we met Tali. Now, we were introduced to Tali when she was getting married. She then got married. Believe it or not, Tali now has a baby. And now Tali has come to Joburg and we're speaking to the beautiful lady behind it all. It's Julia Anastasopoulos. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. <laughs> I've been practicing. How are you, Julia? <laughs> I'm so well. Thank you so much for having me. Ah, it's awesome. Awesome to have you on 947. So one thing um, that really intrigued me, you know, when I was reading up on you, because of course I've seen Suzelle DIY and uh, mm. I've seen Tally's Joburg, well, baby and wedding diary and now soon to be Joburg. And you had mentioned that your mum was an art teacher or is an art teacher. And that yeah. immediately yeah. gripped me because I always remember art class back in school as always, you feel like there's a sense of freedom, you can express yourself, you can be creative, you really get to discover who you are as a young child. Mm. Did it always feel like that for you growing up in an environment like that? Yes, most definitely. I guess having even my, my mom and my dad were actually a big creative influence on me growing up. And yeah. my mom being an art teacher, I think as well, you know, it was that side of me that was nurtured and that side of me that I was always exploring. And I think um, it very much formed the basis of what I do now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what you do now as well, I think what's so damn cool and interesting is that it's not just like Julia is an actress, you're an illustrator, you're a designer, you have been an internet phenom at some stage, you know, which is how um, <laughs> oh DIY. <laughs> um, do you find all of these different forms of art almost like a creative outlet for you? It helps you just release in some senses. Oh, yes, absolutely. I guess it's it's interesting, you know, I think a lot of the time when our how do I put this I guess because it's become my work that's kind of yeah. it, it becomes a bit harder you know so uh -huh. um it's 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 like your creative outlet becomes your work and and sometimes it's it's, it's hard to like juggle those two things I guess <laughs> yeah. but what I feel is that I'm actually so lucky to be able to have created this space for myself and to have this creative outlet and that that's become my job. I, I, I count my blessings every day because of that, because I, I just yeah. love what I do so much. Mm, mm, and you've also got a background in theater as well, and not just mm, on the stage right, necessarily, right. but designing and costume design and all that sort of stuff. When do you get time to fit all of that in really? Because I can imagine that's when right, you're on a TV right. production, the year is crazy. <laughs> It's so crazy. To be honest, I've really had to focus, uh, you know, I have to compartmentalize a lot and, and focus on the projects as they come. So this year has very much been dedicated to Tali's Joburg Diary um, and juggling family and my kids, you know, oh. it is a lot. And the work-life struggle is real. Um, and especially um, an intensive project like shooting a TV show, there really isn't much time for anything else, unfortunately. But I'm really hoping to take a bit of a break now and see what other fun, creative projects I can <laughs> sink my teeth into. Yeah, yeah, no, exciting. And I want to get to, you know, Tally's diary as a whole, the award winning. But right, right. I want to go back to 2014. And I remember one of my friends, Stacey, she was always telling me about his idea. Why? How to make a bride boy. What is it? It is a pie that you make on the braai. It's so easy and it's a real crowd pleaser. And YouTube big in a sense wasn't so big in South Africa, but Shazal DIY just became such a thing. I mean, I was watching some of the videos again just the other week. What are you on? Did it on! Did it on! It's, it's just so creative. And at the time, like I said, South Africa wasn't necessarily in that yeah, space. Yeah. How was all of that born? Because not a lot of people were thinking in that direction, I'd say, at that stage. Sure. I think, you know, on the one hand, it was quite a happy accident and a bit of an experiment. We knew that YouTube was up and coming. We, we kind of had an idea that um, YouTube was kind of going to be the place to be. Yeah. Um, and it was just an experiment, really. We, we were like, okay, well, what? Let's, let's navigate the space. Let's see... If we put something out there, let's see if it does well. Let's see if people latch on. And amazingly, the timing was actually brilliant because mm. it was quite novel and new to South Africa. And I think that was part of the success of Suzelle, actually, um, that, you know, people, 
people like, wow, look at this new thing. And it's, uh, um, and I guess the thing that was great about it is that South Africans felt like this was their YouTube person yeah. in a way, you know, they, they had a bit of a, a sense of ownership over it, which, which, um, which really helped, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, that made sense. You looked a bit good, but that made all the sense. Um, <laughs> Uh, let, let's chat about Tali now. Um, uh, Tali oh. got married. Gonna take some photos for Insta. Tali? Babe? Tali? Babe? Tali? <gasps> oh my god! I have loved you. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh my god! Let's go back, go back, because I've got to film this. My spirit animal is a butterfly. Just like my spirit animal is a wolf, you know? No, babe. No, no, no. You're not a wolf. Your arms and legs are much too short to be a wolf. You're more like one of those little... What's that? Honey badgers. They're so cute. Tali had a baby and we've seen all the madness and the craziness around all of that. <laughs> Tali is in Joburg now. What the hell is Tali doing in Johannesburg when there's Lash Cape Town? <laughs> I'll get this one, okay? It says there's no funds available. Is everything okay? Tell us. If lockdown taught me anything, it's that we need less. We don't need less, babe. We need more. Starting with money. I'm not moving back to Joburg. I have lived without cracked lips for years now. And my salary is going to cover our overheads and take us out of this dark hole that you have plunged us into. That better be load shedding or I am going to lose my I have moved back to Josie, babe. Oh my God! Oh, God. You have just changed so much. She tells me we've all changed since school. Ladies, this is Tally. Can someone please explain to me how Monique the Beak turned from this into this? That's some Kylie Jenner. You should run for class mom. Do you think so? I do think there's been a, a little misunderstanding. Class mom's already been chosen. What? Who? You need a head-to-toe -to -toe overhaul if you're going to compete with this big face. I hate it, yeah. I'm sure you all want to know where your little Picassos will be exhibiting their arts. Jaden Noodleman Shapiro at lot number 25. Over my dead body is Jaden exhibiting his artwork next to the toilets. Okay. I think you're very good at using drama to your advantage, Tully. Let's go. Oh, what? That ran now. Oh, oh. hands off me. <laughs> What the actual f is happening right now? Wait, I love this part. Oh my god! Oh my god! What is happening? That's become quite famous, hey? Oh, you know, part of part of setting the season in Joburg was was us trying to think of a way to kind of reinvigorate the show a bit and put Tully against a different backdrop that we might have not seen her in before. Sure, this is where she grew up, um, but we thought, wouldn't it be wonderful to set the show in a brand new place um, and think of all the the, the, the the fun we could have there, the new characters we could meet there. Um, so that was the beginning of, of that idea, really. And in terms of the story, um, you know, after COVID, Tali and her, and her husband, Darren, they've sort of taken a bit of a financial knock and they've decided to move back to Joburg, move back in with Tully's mom and dad to sort of find their feet again. And, and that's where the story begins. Yeah. Ah, so, so exciting. And, you know, you playing Tully, I guess, you have seen the character development, yeah. that sort of thing. What are some yeah, of the interesting yeah. changes or nitpicks that you've seen from Tully right at the beginning in season one to who she's grown now as a woman into when she's in Joburg? Oh, gosh, that's a hard one. I think, um, I think... Yeah, it's it's been amazing in terms of character development, and so I feel so lucky to have been able to spend so much time with this character. And it's it's great because by the time we started shoot, shooting season three, it's so easy for me to just get into it and relax into the role, relax into the world. Um, and I think it's taken me three seasons to feel that at ease with the character. Um, so in that sense. Um, it's definitely been a sort of progression. And I do see slight intricacies that have shifted and changed over the seasons. But hopefully what I think you'll see in this season is that, you know, as much as we love to hate Tully, she is someone we kind of 
do empathize with in many ways and yeah. we do want her to win. So I'm hoping that that comes through even more in season three. Ah, so, so exciting. So it's all available on Showmax. I see there's weekly episodes that are dropping every weekend when we get there. Um, so really keen to check it out. But one final one, I wanted to actually find out from you in terms of all of your characters, you know, that you've played. Who would you say Julia relates to the most? <laughs> Oh gosh, you know, I get this a lot and it's actually so hard for me because really? I will, obviously these characters are, you know, they're deeply rooted in me in many ways. Yeah. I'm, I'm not so similar to either of them in, 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 most, in most of, I, I guess, how do I put this? Hold on a sec. <laughs> I guess um, it's a tricky, it's a tricky one because these characters are so, deeply rooted in in yeah. me I guess and they are sort of a part of me but I think you know I think the character of Suzelle and just her you know her DIY way of thinking and her inner creative spirit I think that resonates the most with me as who I am in my in my real life yeah 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 uh Julia it's been such a pleasure chatting to you thank you so much so excited to see I guess Yay. this season and pan and what happens for you next it's yeah really really awesome, awesome. Thank, thank you so so much it was so lovely chatting to you thank you so much for having me and done afternoons with Zwelly on 947 Monday to Friday 12 to 3